Hi there everyone, it's January 31st 2018 and this is another update from Equator. We're very happy to bring you finally an update with some footage from the taxi testing that has just started. This is the first time the aircraft has been running by its own power with everything assembled. It's pretty exciting for us. The ground test program will now continue forth for the next month, month and a half and hopefully we will not find too many issues in the process. But the whole point of course with doing a lot of work on the ground is to make sure we find any snags that shouldn't be there. We've been at the new facility now for three weeks. It has been an amazing transition, uh, spending most days opening hatches, checking every detail and calibrating, dialing everything in. From avionics to mechanic control and just trying to make 100% sure that we're confident that the aircraft is put through a gradual, step-by-step -step increase in terms of speed and handling tests. In these tests we need to be at least two people, one in the aircraft and one spotter on the radio. Here Christian is checking the aircraft and communicating to make sure everything looks okay on the exterior. For these first slow taxi tests we're checking nose landing gear controllability and main gear brake action. Unfortunately, as is also apparent in the footage, the nose gear is not turning the aircraft as rapidly and correct as we would like. So yesterday we took the whole assembly off and we're going to try to gear the whole control down. This means it will be about four times stronger and a little bit slower. Both are needed to get an optimal state on this uh, system. We expect quite a few details to pop up as we move along and this is the main reason we do a lot of these tests before we decide to go fly the aircraft. As you can see the typical harsh winter is upon us and there has been a lot of snow this year. It's great for skiing, it's not so great for ground testing aeroplanes, but we're super happy to be in motion and after all we're moving toward the spring, so all is good. Appreciate your attention and we'll be back soon with more updates on the ground test program.